With the DACA deadline approaching, many young immigrants are filing applications right now trying to extend their stay in the U.S. Here in Central Texas, most of the stories we hear about dreamers are of those who came to the U.S. from Mexico. But KXAN's Jacqueline Powell looks at another large population facing uncertainty in our area. Texas is the only place Samantha Ilacqua wants to live. I've built a life here. I have friends here. I have family here. This is my home. She says her family moved here from Montreal legally under her father's work permit when she was two. But after a few years, her parents divorced and her status changed. My dad moved away probably when I was about eight and then from eight until 18 I was uh, illegal. Immigration attorney Jason Finkelman says Ilacqua isn't alone here in Central Texas. There are many uh, individuals who are from Canada who are here undocumented who may have overstayed a visa or entered the country without uh, uh, authorization. When the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals or DACA was implemented. I changed everything. I was able to get a car. I was able to get a job. I was able to get a license. Um, I started going to school. Ilacqua is on track to graduate from ACC in May. She's already jump started her career in law working as a paralegal. I've worked really hard to get where I am. I've studied hard in school. I've uh, you know worked hard at my job so that I could you know advance and I'm scared that all of that's just going to be ripped out from under me. She says even though it would be difficult to return to Canada, it wouldn't be as hard as being deported to Mexico. She feels fellow dreamers from Mexico aren't met with the same kind of support. Because when I tell people about my situation, they say, oh, that's so sad for you. I hope that you can make it work. If I were Mexican, I don't know. I don't think they have the same sentiment, and I don't think that's fair at all. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Ilaqua fears if DACA is rescinded, immigration officials could show up at her door and deport her at any time. Because she was required to give pages of personal information, including phone numbers, home and work addresses, and even family contacts when she applied. Immigrants from nearly 200 countries have applied for the DACA program, but we checked and found the vast majority come from Mexico and parts of Central America. According to a study by Brookings, 77% of DACA applicants are from Mexico, 4% from El Salvador, and 3% from Guatemala. Another 3% were from Honduras, and 1% of DACA applicants were from South Korea.